Hey, it's Tash here. Okay, first video. I'm sorry if it's weird. I'm using my laptop webcam, which isn't that great. Uh, <laughs> one day I'll get a good one when I can record it. Okay, starting with my makeup basics. I always, always use Garnier now. My face. This is the um, BB Cream and Light. It is really good actually. It's kind of like a tinted moisturiser but better. Doesn't have that, I don't know, that kind of really tacky thing you can get sometimes with tinted moisturisers. Anyway, I use that as a, whether as a foundation or a base. Like, it makes a good base as well because it's not heavy coverage. So, yeah, it's always number one. And it's, I, I sometimes put under it the Nivea Natural Beauty face cream, which makes this look even better. It's just really fresh and without having to use lots of makeup. But when I do use foundation, I use Max Factor. This is the colour Adapt in Creamy Ivory. It's, it's okay, but it's not my favourite. Maybelline do a really good one, the 24 Hour Superstay, I think it's called. That is really good and it really does last ages even without primer once i've got my foundation on i use blusher i have two blushes i use a lot 17 in china pink and flushed by Too faced i'm not sure if they do this one anymore i got it a few years ago for my mom it was an off one as you can see it's running quite low this one is like a really pale pink, you can't really see it in this camera, but it's like really light, kind of slight blush, basically, really natural. This one I tend to use at night, if I'm going out at night, because it's darker and, yeah. And it's not showing up, but this one can build it up and it's quite a nice, like, dusty rose colour. Once I'm done with that, I go and set my makeup with the loose powder. I have a natural collection one, which is in warm translucent. This is only one ninety nine, and I think every girl should have one of these. And what I do is I tend to pour some into the lid and use a kabuki brush and swirl it around and then tap off the excess before putting it on. This really does make a difference. I also have quite a posh one actually, I think this is a birthday present, Max Factor one. This one is pretty, I think this one is nicer, but this one works just as good. I mean, for day to day, it's fine. And then eyes. You can't forget your eye makeup. I have a brightening eye colour palette in Ethereal. This is from e.l.f., which you can get online. It's eyeslipface.com. And the colours are pretty neutral and they're not strong. I mean, they're pigmented enough for what I got them for, which was basically a bit of, little bit of natural looking definition. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, but it's enough that it makes you look awake. Kind of, you know, sometimes when you haven't had enough sleep and you just want to wake yourself up. This is pretty good. And it was only about a pound fifty. Sometimes they do offers where you spend £10 and you'll get free delivery. So I recommend signing up for the newsletter for that. I got quite a few brushes in there as well, which are really good. And it's worth a try to get um, the liquid eyeliner. It's £1.50. It's really easy to use. But the downside is the brush, because it's not, it's pretty cheap. It does tend to fall apart within a month or so. So... In that respect, it's not that good, but for beginners, it's pretty good. And at the moment, I'm using this bourgeois, the clubbing one, which is pretty good. It's really waterproof once it dries, and it doesn't mudge until you use makeup remover or something. It's got a really thin brush, which I guess is really good for like drawing, like, I don't know, fancy makeup. But it, the downside is it is slightly runny and it's very fiddly to do. I kind of regret buying this, but I use it because I have it. It's better than my gel eyeliner, which I've got from Ralph, which isn't good. The Maybelline one I bought before, which was amazing. I 
probably should just got that instead. But I wanted to try out the Elf one. It was only three, four pounds. So you win some, you lose some. Okay, when it comes to mascara, I tend to use one of two mascaras. I have a lengthening one, which is the one by one by Maybelline, and a uh, lash up volumizer by Model Zone. Now, if you're like me and you don't like wearing false eyelashes because they feel weird and like really, really long, like ridiculously long, you look scary, you can use a combination of a volumizing and a lengthening mascara and you'll get a really good effect on your lashes without being too over the top. I mean, it's kind of, it's like almost fake, but in the good sense of fake lashes, like in the adverts and stuff. So I recommend doing that instead. It, my favourite mascara is actually the Colossal Volume by Maybelline. My friend recommended this. I mean, I do like it, but I prefer the Colossal Volume one because I find it works better for my lashes. But Maybelline do really good mascaras. And then I've also got a favourite concealer. Well, it's not concealer, it's more highlighting concealer. Which is the Dream Lil May by Maybelline. This has been recommended by people on YouTube to be quite like the East Saint Laurent one but obviously it's a high street brand it's not too expensive I mean it is really good it comes with a brush and then you just twist it and paint it on the wrong way I don't know if you can see it or not but it's really nice and it blends very easily I recommend that as a good highlighter. I don't really use concealers as such, but I do have the, um, the colour thing from Lush, I don't know where it is somewhere, which is really like a really thick foundation. You can actually mix it with your moisturiser to get a tinted one, but I don't like it that much. It's really, really thick. And when it comes to lips, I have these three, which are cur my current favourites. I have loads more, but I don't really use them much right now. These are like varying shades of pink. I've got my natural one, which is the lip stain. The passion. It's the Revlon Just Bitten, and I absolutely love this so much. <laughs> I can't stress how good it is. Basically, it's a pen. I tend to keep it that way around, so the product stay, sits in the nib, so it's when you come to apply, it actually comes out. That's like, I just put it on for you now. Like you can see the difference already, even though this is a really bad camera and the colour isn't super good, but let's go. Mm -hmm. quick. And then let it dry, you have to let it dry, can't stress this enough. Because if you don't, when you go to put your lip balm on, the colour just comes off again. So like the balm. But you have to be gentle with this because people have a lot of people they this breaks off because they're a bit rough with it, but yeah, I've had it for a while, it hasn't broken off yet. There we go. It's quite a natural looking pop of colour. I really love it. When I'm feeling a bit more adventurous, I either use my Viva Glam Nicki Minaj, which is a beautiful pink. It's like got the signature. It's 1350 And then about £12 of that goes to help charity like people living with AIDS, so if you want to buy MAC, I advise buying Viva Glam. This is the only MAC product I own, by the way. Because <clears throat> I'm a student, I have a tight budget, and you yeah, probably see this is like holes, it's not great. But yeah, and it's like a kind of bright, bluey pink. Oh, that's what it says on the website. It's really creamy. It smells pretty good, and it lasts ages, and it's super pretty. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like. Oh, I'm probably this lip stain, but it's pretty cute. Especially with these glasses and a bit of eyeliner, it looks pretty nice. It's really cute. My other one, which is it's kind of in between that and my lip stain, is Fuchsia One Six Three by Maybelline in the it's in the red one, Moisture Extreme, and. It's a wearable fuchsia colour, I don't know if it was light. And um, it's really creamy again and it lasts ages. It's, it doesn't really have a smell, which is good, I guess. <laughs> so those are my favourite products right now. 
Um, I also have a blog which usually which is got better quality pictures for my camera, which is really bad. So that's why I'm not using it right now because it needs batteries and they die and I've got no stand. So it kind of looks for me from up here. <laughs> I look great. Ugh. The best part. Try to ignore that. <laughs> Okay, I'm probably rambling on, but I really, this is my first video, and I will start doing tutorials again, like, sometime soon, hopefully. I mean, the quality won't be great, but the methods will be there. <laughs> Pretty simple. I mean, I don't see the point in doing, like, really difficult, long-winded ways. It's like, there's, a, there's basic steps, and once you know them, you can do anything. <laughs> basically so check out my blog i'll put the link down below if i can figure this out and well please subscribe comment give me pointers i just i just want to help people because a lot of the gurus they tend to use products which are quite expensive like a lot of mac and well i don't know what the other ones are but i've got what i advise to all my friends and they agree with me is the staples of your makeup box and I can go through them in another video and there's like you don't need tons of expensive makeup I don't think there's any point you only really need one foundation one concealer basically and make it take advantage of three for two and if you want loads of eyeshadows and stuff look for good palettes and test them with pigments and yeah, I should go <laughs> before I bore you or my flatmates I think I'm talking to myself, which I kind of am actually. If no one watches this, I'm just, I don't know, talking to myself like a crazy person. Ooh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, and one, and one more thing. While I'm on this video, I might as well just mention pastel nails. Okay, I'm wearing Barry M in mint green, strawberry cream, and blueberry cream. But and the thing is with these, is the blue one is really good. You put one coat and it's like that. Basically, the colour's really good. But when it comes to the pink and the green, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's new and it's really thin, but it needs quite a few coats. Otherwise, it's like really blotchy and see-through. I don't know what it is. Barium seems to be very really hit and miss. So, yeah, just a quick warning there if you want these nails. I just basically did pink in my middle and then blue and then green. My little of them. I don't know, because I haven't got that many pastel colours, but I love them so much. Okay. Bye.